For the next step in the book calls for you to put the roof together. While everything else is drying, we went ahead and got the long piece with the little angle at the back and then the two pieces here. This says Eve on it and then this should have, you should have written rear roof, okay? And then this is the front roof. They're showing you they want you to apply tape to it before you glue it or while you're gluing it. So we're gonna line it up and add some tape. If you notice here, it's got a 45 on, on this side and a flat spot on this side. The same way here, the small flat spot and the 45. They go together like this. So when you put it together, it's got a groove up there for your, your crusting to fit. Now we're taping it before we're gluing it, just so you know. Just makes it a little bit easier. All right, now once you have it all taped up, then you want to go ahead and unfold it and run some glue right down in there. Okay, now you want to fold it back over like you would close a book. Make sure it's even again. And then put a piece of tape on the end to hold it together. Rub off any excess glue that you have and let that dry. Once that's dry, then we can move on to putting these side pieces down on there because then the tape won't be in the way. All right, so it should look kind of like this. And then the next step is they want you to go ahead and start working on the gable roof side. So while that's drying, we can't really do much except for leave it sit. So we're going to work on that. This is the gable roof. All right, they want you to put it together like a book at the top where the point of the gable roof is meeting together. And then they want you to put some tape around it to go across. They want you to lay it flat dead. Right, they have you laying it flat. We're doing it standing up. They want you to do it on a flat work surface. Okay, now open it back up. Lay it flat like that. Apply the glue right down in the center.
You may wanna prime this first with one strip of glue, let it kind of set up a little bit, then go over it again. Because if you do that, then um, it'll actually stick better because the glue won't wear off. Or not wear off, but absorb into the wood as much. All right, once you have that done, then it's telling you to put it back together. Okay, so they want you to test fit the gable roof front and then add glue and attach it. Okay, so once you see that it fits in there, you wanna go ahead and take it back out and add some glue in there and then slide it in there and hold it tight. Okay, so now once you have the glue in there, go ahead and slide that back in there. Make sure you paint this before you do this step, okay? Because you do not want to be messing with paint around there because then you're going to have to touch it up and it's not going to be any fun, trust me. So now we'll tape it. Because you want to make sure that it doesn't come apart. It's all crooked. <laughs> it's all wonky. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> once you have it taped, it should look something like this. <laughs> okay, um, a note you may want to do, and I didn't think about it prior to this, um, is to paint the inside of this eave. So I'm going to have to just go back and do that. Um, very delicately with some white and make sure I don't get it in on here. See that. Um, actually, no, you don't, you won't see that because you know what? I'm looking at the gingerbread and the gingerbread actually goes on the front like this. So you won't actually see that. So don't worry about that. <laughs> um, all right. So that's what that should look like. And that's half of the roof. You want to make sure this part stays together. It's all nice and smooth and even back here. That way, when you go to do the rest of it, it's all going to be matched up. All right, set it on the side and let that dry. Okay, so we're going to skip ahead a little bit while other stuff is drying. And they want you to take and work on the windows. That's these long pieces here and then the short pieces here. Now, they want you to tape it at the corners and test fit it and all of that. Now, I come up with a way when we were doing the windows with the Beacon Hill that seems to be a little bit easier for me. I just turn the tape upside right where this is sticky and then I tape it down with tape going downward. And then what I do is I just take it and put it on there like that. And then I take the next piece and I go right over and line it up. And then another piece here and line that up. Make sure all the corners are square. And then take this one it's kind of hard to get off of there but you'll see until you have it just right now they want you to take a rubber band and test fit it Getting it back off the tape is going to be kind of hard, but it should be square doing it just like that. All right, so once you have it like that, then you just want to open that up just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Put a little glue down in there, open that one up, put a little glue down in there, 
do the same thing, blue, blue. This is a great build tip because it's not going nowhere. It's, it's stuck, okay? Let it dry, and then you can move on to the next part a little bit quicker. I'll give you a close-up real quick of what I was just showing you. Open it, add the glue. Open it, add the glue. And then it's right there. And if you hold your square up to it, it should be square. Of course, this is an awfully big square. But yes, it is square. All right, so we're gonna glue these together, work on that. And then we'll go ahead, if the other stuff isn't dry, we'll go ahead and start assembling the shutters. Okay, so an easy way to get the glue in there is to take some toothpaste. I mean, toothpaste, this is funny. <laughs> take some toothpick and some glue and just put a tiny bit on there. Okay, and when you spread it open, I'm trying to get it to where you can actually see it, um, just kind of slide that down in there. And then push it back shut. And then there you have your glue will be in there. Okay, so when you get to the end of putting all these together, you're going to have a bunch of little pieces left over. That's for this roof here. Or not roof, but this window here. So you want to go ahead and glue them together. And this way is a lot easier. Um, here's Dad's way and sort of the way that they're telling you to do it in the book. I did like two windows to that. So I like the way that I do it. You do it the way that it's easiest for you. And don't forget to put the rubber band around it because what that does is it keeps the seams from separating while it's drying. <laughs> okay, so my window is done and dad is still messing with that window when I've done all of these but two. <laughs> so you pick the way that works best for you. Personally, I think having the sticky side of the tape up and doing it this way and just checking it with the square as you go um, seems to be the quickest. Um, the way that he's doing it, um, yeah, I'm not so sure about that as far as easiness, but um, if that makes it work for you, then great. All right, like and subscribe, click that bell to be notified, and I'll see you in the next video. We're gonna be finishing the gable roof and um, doing the shutters, the railing, the porch, and all the gingerbread and that will be pretty much most of this house besides the petitions in the interior all right again thanks a lot have a wonderful wonderful day and um as you can see dad's still full in with that window poor guy he may be here for a while <laughs> hit that bell i'll talk to you later